welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some deep cleaning, sanitizing. I'm just getting over strep throat. My mom currently has strep throat. She's getting better, but we need to clean this house. I'm going to be focusing on those high touch surfaces to sanitize, get the germs out of the house. I want to spray some Lysol, get rid of all the germs. So lots to get into today. I hope you guys are ready for it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First off, I want to thank you guys for being here today, spending your time with me. I hope y'all are having a wonderful Sunday so far. I have been spending mine with my mom. She's still in town for a couple more days. She came in for Thanksgiving, so we have definitely been soaking it all up. Unfortunately, like you guys saw, I did end up getting sick and my mom got sick as well, but we're both feeling so much better now. This video is actually supposed to come out after the video you're going to see next, but the next video does have a brand deal in it. So they are taking longer to approve it than usual. So it will be a little out of order, but in that one, I do talk about how I was just getting over being super sick. I was still currently not feeling good, but I finally was good enough to get up and start getting some cleaning done this day. So we are going to be tackling all of the things. I really wanted to make sure I sanitize, got the germs out of here. I needed to wash my bedding because I was, you know, the one sick. So I didn't want my husband to catch it. So I made sure to wash our bedding. I'm also using disinfecting wipes. I typically only use these on the toilet, but since I was sick, I was going to use them everywhere as well as tackling doorknobs and handles and all of that. So we are going to be getting it all done. I hope you guys are healthy and doing well. Let me know down in the comments. Have you guys been hit with the with any sickness so far this winter season. I know it's that time. The weather has been so crazy. It's been up and down and finally it's kind of been like a steady coldness, but I think with all the weather changes, you know, the sickness was bound to happen. I really am trying to make a point to wear my gloves whenever I use my disinfecting wipes just because I know it's not good for all of those harsh chemicals to be on my skin. So that's something that I'm trying to just be more aware of. So I encourage you guys if you also use these disinfecting wipes or even like cleaners that aren't all natural, I definitely recommend wearing some gloves. Not only does it help your skin so it doesn't get all dried out, but also just gives you that protection from all these chemicals because because it is quite crazy how many different chemicals we are exposed to every single day. So it's just, you know, it's nice to make an effort where you can to just prevent some of that getting into our skin and our body since our skin is our biggest organ. It was about that time to clean my bathtub. I was noticing a ring around it. So I first am adding some Epsom salt into this little container. I love putting Epsom salt in my baths, especially when I'm sore or sick. It just really helps soothe me and relaxes me, especially right before bedtime. So filling my jar up and then we're gonna be taking everything off of my bathtub and giving it a deep clean with my Clorox bleach. This is also a cleaner that I don't pull out too often just whenever I have some hard stubborn stains or if I really want to disinfect and that was the goal for today so we're pulling out the big guns. If 
you guys have been following me for a while, then you know I recently bought an electric spin brush to clean like the bathroom showers and stuff like that. And I absolutely love it. But since I've been using it for a while, I've kind of learned where I like to use it and where I don't like to use it. And I feel like the electric spinner is better for flat surfaces. So the shower walls, the shower floors, the bathtub, you know, bottom of the bathtub as well. But anything where you have to go around like the knobs or the faucet or crevices like the sides of my bathtub, I really don't like using the spinner because I feel like it goes crazy. Like you try to spin on those little areas and it's just flying everywhere. So definitely a little tip if you guys also are thinking about getting one. It is a great product for if you don't want to bend down and clean your shower floor or up high on your walls. It's a great tool to have, but I don't recommend it if you have a lot of like crevices to clean in between. I have my shark steam mop for the floors. Once again, I want to disinfect and this does a great job. It just uses water and steam and it will clean your floors and disinfect at the same time. And if you like to have a little scent left behind, I will add in like a little spray bottle and spray the floor and then clean with the steam mop. That way you get the best of the best of both worlds, but I love my steam mop. This thing works so good. I recommend shark products. They last so long. I've had this one for years. I have been wanting to get the new shark steam mop, but I just can't bring myself to buy it since this one still works amazingly. So until this one dies on me, I'm going to continue using it. The next product that I really want to buy that I have been eyeing for quite some time is one of those mopping vacuums. I have been wanting one for so long. They look so amazing. It's something that I would really utilize, you know, with having small kids. So I have been thinking about buying one. If you guys have one and you would recommend it, leave me what brand or make model that you have, because there are so many that I've heard about that work good. I just, I can't decide which one I want to go with, but I do want to get one soon. I was kind of thinking about asking my husband for that for Christmas. We'll see, but definitely leave me those recommendations down in the comments. I would really appreciate it. And if I do end up getting one, let me know if you guys would like to see like a dedicated video as a review or like an unboxing. I love watching those videos, but I want to know if you guys would be interested in seeing that as well. This shelf was so dusty, you guys. I think because I store my toilet paper over here and you know how toilet paper is like when you knock it, the little fuzzies fly everywhere. I mean, I hope that's why it was so dusty because I feel like it hadn't been that long, but y'all, I definitely needed to dust this shelf really bad. So I pulled out my little Swiffer duster to wipe it down. I don't use any spray on this just because it is like an unfinished wood and I'm scared it's going to soak it up or like mess up the way that the wood looks. So I try to just use either a microfiber cloth or my Swiffer duster to just wipe it down.
I have been slacking on using my little toilet stamp, so I went ahead and pulled that out today added a little toilet stamp. I got these off of Timu. They're super inexpensive and I just think they're adorable. As for keeping the toilet fresh, I mean, you can slightly smell it whenever you flush the toilet, but it's not super strong. It's more so for looks for me because I just think they are so adorable. But this bathroom is definitely challenging to film in because it is a very small bathroom, but it was really needing some attention. In just a moment, I'm going to show you guys besides the beside the toilet was so gross and like the bottom of the toilet it just needed to be deep cleaned It was so disgusting back here, you guys. <laughs> there was like stuck on grime and all kind of nasty stuff. I do keep my toilet bowl cleaner as well as the plunger back here. So I think just with all of that back there, it was just nasty. So I'm using my disinfectant wipes to wipe everything down. I went ahead and wiped down the baseboard as well and all around the toilet to make sure it's nice and sanitized. Now that I have the two bathrooms done, it's time to head into my room. Like I said, I wanted to wash the bedding, so we're gonna pull everything off, get that into the wash, and then tidy up my bedroom just a little bit. I wanted to spray some Lysol in here and just put away some clothes that were sitting on the dresser. Here are my current laundry products that I'm using. I am not really sure about the Ecos brand. I was using it, but once again, I'm noticing spots on my clothes and it wasn't with the actual laundry detergent liquid, but I'm also using their um, sheets that you just put into the wash. They kind of look like a dryer sheet, but it's a laundry sheet. And I started using those and I think it might be from that. I can't really figure out. I need to, you know, play around with my laundry a little bit more, but I am starting to notice those grease spots again. I was hoping the OxyClean would, you know, combat that, but I'm finding it very challenging to find a all natural laundry detergent that doesn't leave those like grease looking spots, which a lot of you guys have said that if you have hard water, that is something that's common with natural laundry detergents. So I am trying my hardest to find a natural detergent that does not leave that residue behind. So 
I recently bought the Molly Suds and the liquid laundry detergent. And once I finish using up the, the Ecos one, I will be switching to the Molly Suds and I bought it in the citrus scent. So fingers crossed that that one works for me. I am so determined to find an all natural laundry detergent that I love. Um, if y'all have any recommendations, definitely leave them down below because I am struggling. Now we're heading into the living room just to do a quick tidy up. As you guys see, I decorated the mantle in the living room. I love how it turned out. It's so simple yet so beautiful. I just love the Christmas lights on the mantle. I think it just adds so much like pop of Christmas, but I needed to tidy it up really quick in here. I also had my heating blanket in here that I recently bought from Sam's Club. This is actually the first time that I have ever owned a heating blanket. I was so excited to get one, especially one that felt soft because growing up, my stepmom would use them all the time. She was always cold, but hers were kind of like that I guess it's like a flannel or a fleece material. I'm not sure what the material is, but I felt like all of the heating blankets were made out of that material and I hate the way those feel. So I was so excited to find one at Sam's Club that was so soft and fluffy and I just love it. So if you guys have been looking for a very soft and cute heating blanket that's affordable, definitely check out Sam's Club. I'll try to leave the link down below for y'all because it's a really good one. The last area I'm going to be tackling today is the kitchen. I needed to tidy this up and then we will be picking up the cleaning the next day. Like I said, my mom is in town, so I was trying to break up the cleaning so I wasn't just like full on cleaning all day long and you know spend some quality time with her so i'm just tidying up in here i want it to obviously wipe everything down sanitize it clear away the clutter i'm just gonna leave the dishes for the kids since that is their chore I thought I would take a moment to introduce myself in case y'all are new here. I am a stay at home mom to four. I have two girls and two boys. And if you guys see a little boy running around throughout my videos, that is my four year old, Ethan. He stays home with me all day long. And then my three other kids are in school, but he often makes his appearance in here. He loves helping me and <laughs> just running around while I'm getting my cleaning done. 
but we do currently live in West Texas. We've been in Texas now for 10 years. We're both originally from Virginia, so we're a long way from home. My husband is in the oil field. That's what brought us here to Texas, but we absolutely love it. And on my channel, I love sharing all things cleaning. I do everyday messes, deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing, laundry, <laughs> so much more. But the main focus is I like to keep it real and relatable and honest. I want you guys to see what my house actually looks like daily. And that way, when you come here, you don't feel alone. You don't feel like your house isn't perfect because mine definitely is not. This is just a highlight of what my house looks like after I get done cleaning it. But I can promise you within 10 minutes, my house is looking like a hot mess again. So I want you to come here and feel uplifted and encouraged to tackle your messes because this is real life. I don't want social media to paint this facade, this fake picture that my house is picture perfect because it's definitely not. So if you enjoy relatable cleaning content, I really hope you decide to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload one to two videos every single week and I would love to have you here. As I was wiping down the fridge, I realized how full of dust this fridge, I guess this is like the air filter down here. It was so disgusting, you guys. <laughs> I was like, wow, I really need to clean that. So if you guys haven't taken a peek at the bottom of your fridge in a while, make sure you check that out. It might need some attention like mine. I wanted to tell you guys that I have recently decided to give TikTok a try. I tried doing it a few years ago and kind of gave up on it, but I recently just decided to give it a try. I absolutely love making not only like cleaning content, but you know, relatable mom content, but also funny mom content. I love those funny short videos. I think they're hilarious and I really enjoy making them. So if you enjoy those little clips, make sure you head on over to TikTok. Give me a follow. I plan on uploading tons of funny clips as well as some cleaning motivation and my daily life over there. So if you're on TikTok, give me a follow. My handle is at Ashley Forbes and then just the number four. I'll put it up here on the screen for you guys. But I am so excited to be on TikTok and just, you know, have fun with it. I feel like on YouTube, I'm a little bit more serious. I have my cleaning channel and then my vlogging channel. And I just feel like TikTok is going to be this, you know, the, the place where you can go to kind of see my funnier side. So I'm excited. <laughs> I hope you guys come on over and give me a follow. As y'all could see, the kids' bathroom was a complete disaster. Once again, what's new? So I needed to get in here, of course, sanitize it, but also just clean it because it was filthy. And today I'm going to be using not only the antibacterial wipes, but also that homemade Dawn power wash spray. If you guys missed that video, all you do to make this spray from home is take a old 
power wash container or you can buy these little spray bottles from the dollar store and you're going to use some rubbing alcohol some water and some dish soap you can use dawn or any other brand and you mix it together and you get the bubbly spray just like the dawn power wash i love using this in the bathroom and i actually enjoy the scent of the rubbing alcohol i like that smell It always ceases to amaze me how much toothpaste the kids leave behind after they get done brushing their teeth. It's just so crazy how it is everywhere on the cabinets, the floors, in the sink, on the mirror. And even though I clean it almost every three days or so, it still looks like a complete, a complete train wreck in here. Aubrey does help me keep up with the bathroom. I have her clean the bathroom at least once a week, but honestly, how messy the my kids are, I have to get in here much more frequently than just once every week. I almost forgot to wipe down this mirror, so I had to quickly come back over here, wipe down the mirror, and then we're gonna take out that overflowing trash and then tackle the bathtub. Since we do have company in town, my mom is here, I wanted to make sure I kept the bathroom nice and clean for everybody. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a deeper clean in there. Plus I needed to swap out our shampoo. I So recently I bought this Suave, I believe it's, um, coconut coconut something the shampoo and conditioner smell amazing but ever since both me and my girls have started using this shampoo and conditioner our hair has been falling out like crazy and at first I thought my hair was falling out just because you know stress or you know just life or it could have been like the time of the year I'm just shedding a lot more but then I thought it was funny because even Aubrey she was like mom my hair is falling out like crazy and I was like you know what that's kind of weird and then when my mom came into town she said the same thing when she used the shampoo she was like oh my gosh my hair is falling out like crazy and I'm like you know what I feel like this can't be a coincidence so I decided to get rid of that shampoo and conditioner put in some tresemme for them 
And then I am actually switching my shampoo as well. I'm going to be trying out this new shampoo and conditioner that my mom actually recommended. It has sea kelp in it. And she said that sea kelp was like a really popular shampoo um, ingredient. Like when she was younger growing up, she always remembers her parents talking about it, how it really helps with your hair shedding and with hair growth. And so I went online and I found some off of Amazon that had really good reviews and I was blown away like reading the reviews with how many people were saying like it helped with their hair thinning and stuff like that. So I immediately ordered some. I'm so excited to start using it. I'll have to update you guys on what I think about it because I'm really excited. The smell isn't like it has like that herbal scent. It kind of reminds me of the MD hair. If you guys remember, I was using MD hair for a while to help with my hair growth. I really love their products, but this is definitely a bit more affordable and I'm excited to try it out. So I'll update you guys after I use it for a while on my thoughts on it. But whenever I went to go grab it from underneath the sink, because I bought it a few weeks ago from Sam's Club and then I just put it under here, Apparently one of the bottles must have had like a crack in it or something because it leaked all over the bottom of the cabinet and I've noticed even in the bathtub it's kind of leaking down the side of the bathtub but I'm like you know what oh well like I, I don't have any other container to put it in so hopefully we won't lose too much product on the cracked bottle but that's why I had stuff all over the bottom of my cabinet. I'm making sure to thoroughly wipe down these doors, mainly because the kids leave so many fingerprints on these highly touched surfaces. And one of the areas that I really try to focus on that is usually overlooked is the side of the door, like where the door meets the wall when you close it. That's often an area that, you know, I forget to clean. You might also forget to clean it, but take a peek on the sides of your door. It's usually super dirty as well. So I made sure to wipe that down too and get all of that dirt off. I am super behind currently on laundry, so I'm also gonna be trying to get tons of laundry done in between all of the cleaning. I'm going to get some started now, and then we're gonna head back upstairs because I wanted to clean and sanitize my boy's bedroom as well as Aubrey's because Aubrey, I don't go in there that often, but I do try to go in at least once a month to wipe down all the dust because you guys know her room definitely is the dustiest in the house. As I was putting the laundry in, I noticed that my cat Jinxie left me a little surprise on my rug. So I'm going to quickly spray it with some shout and wipe it up. I love shout, especially for cleaning the floors, any stains on clothes. It does a great job and I have never had any issues with it changing the color of clothes or the floor. So definitely recommend some shout for those stubborn stains. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the current sleeping situation in the house is that my mom is sleeping in Adrian's room. At first, Adrian was sleeping with her, but my kids like to sleep with not only a light on, but also the radio and not like a subtle radio. It's like loud when they sleep. So my mom couldn't sleep very well. So she was turning off the, um, turning off the light as well as the radio. And then Adrian couldn't really sleep. So Adrian is now sleeping with the boys in their bedroom. Thankfully there's plenty of space. So she's just been sleeping on the bottom bunk with Ethan and then Austin has the top bunk. So we have lots of blankets on the bed. I was going to wash them, but I figured, you know what? My mom's only here for a few more days. I'm going to wait until, you know, they're done sleeping all together and then I'll wash all of their bedding to make sure it's nice and clean. But I did want to spray with Lysol just to make sure I got any germs out of here. In case you guys are wondering where I got my leggings from, because I often get asked that question, these particular leggings are from Halara. That is actually who is going to be sponsoring my next video. And I, every single legging that I got from them, I absolutely love, but these are by far my favorite. I love this color. I'm like one of those people that will walk around wearing like the crazy colored leggings. I think they are so cute. It's just, I don't know. It's just something fun. And yeah, so those are from Halara in case you guys are wondering and don't buy quite yet because I will have a discount code for you guys in my next video if you want to save some money on them, but they are very high quality and super cute. Now it's time to head into my oldest daughter's bedroom, Aubrey, get this cleaned up. It really wasn't too messy. Like I said, she keeps up with her room. She's not a messy person, really. That's my other daughter, Adrian. But I wanted to come in here, vacuum everything, get it wiped down, make sure all the dust is picked up. I am making a point to vacuum in here much more frequently than I used to just because the dust is so crazy in here. And we did have a air purifier, which you'll see it on her dresser. We had that running for her constantly, but so crazy. The other day, it was like right after Thanksgiving, Aubrey comes running down the stairs and she's like, oh my gosh, mom, like my, um, my, it's like a surge protector. I think is what you call it. Her surge protector was smoking and she was freaking out. So the thing, I don't know if it caught fire, but it looked like it, it was melted and black and there was smoke coming from it. So we unplugged everything. And my husband was like, let's try to, you know, minimize the things that are plugged in in here. So yeah, that happened. So we currently don't have her air purifier going. We need to buy her a new surge protector because hers was all burnt up. 
but it was just crazy. I've never had that happen before, but thank goodness for the surge protector. Thank goodness it didn't like fully catch on fire. It could have been so much more worse. I'm using the Aunt Fanny wood cleaner to wipe down her dresser and everything else up here to try to keep the dust off of it. Now we're going to take her laundry downstairs as well. So I have quite the collection building up. I plan on tacking, tackling this within the next few days. I was wanting to film a laundry video just because I had so much laundry, but with my mom being in town, I've been trying to just take a little, you know, take a little break, not completely, you know, not upload, but not upload as much. That's why I didn't have a bonus video up this week. I just been trying to stay in the moment and enjoy the time with my mom while she's here. So maybe in the future, I'll have a laundry video come out. Let me know if you guys want to see a dedicated laundry video because yeah, I'm definitely behind and that's nothing new. I'm always behind on my laundry. But we're going to get some laundry folded here in just a moment. But first, I wanted to vacuum the stairs. I did put up this pretty garland and lights all along the stair railings that I am absolutely in love with. This is my favorite thing to do for the Christmas season. It's one of the reasons that I love having a two-story house, honestly. I just love decorating the railing for Christmas. It's just, I don't know. It's a spot that really just warms my heart to see.
are coming to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope it gave you some motivation to tackle something around your house. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.